Hey guys, Captain Smash, Smash Strength Lab here at Smash's Lair. Um, so we're finishing up our final, maybe maybe our final conversation on carbs. Um, you know, so we we've we've covered kind of how carbs cause problems in the body with insulin and uh, constantly stimulating the insulin response within the body, constantly uh, causing that storage effect within the body. Um, the the one the one thing that I'll leave you with also about carbohydrates is the fact that uh, there really are no essential carbohydrates. We have we have essential fats which we need to consume through our diet in order to get enough of them, and we have essential uh, protein or amino acids that our body can't manufacture on its own. So we have to intake those through the daily diet. Um, but there's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. Um, so this leaves us with the question, do we really need them? And the answer is no. There's no carbohydrate that you necessarily need. Um, the body can manufacture um, carbohydrates through various processes, uh, gluconeogenesis, which it will create carbohydrates for the body to be used. And in fact, our body can run off of ketone bodies, which is one of the principles of the um, ketogenic diet is, you know, your body's basically manufacturing um, ketone bodies uh, to be used as fuel for the brain and to keep us running along at a good even keel. Um, so <clears throat> we, we don't necessarily need carbohydrates in our diets to have evolved. And certain cultures, like the Inuit culture, um, have developed quite well without any carbohydrates at all. Now, the question remains, do we need them? Um, you know, in certain cases, I would say, yes, you're going to need some carbohydrates. But you have to consider where most people are starting. Most people are starting where they have a large influx of carbohydrates at all time periods. They're constantly spiking their insulin. They're overweight, over fat, however you want to call it. And so for these people that are really battling with their weight and are in that constant insulin uh, spiking state, you just don't need them. Like, you know, the best thing for these people to do is cut most of their carbohydrates out of their diet. No, I'm not talking about um, things like lettuce and vegetables and non other non-starchy vegetables. That's that's entirely different carbohydrate source, which we can get into later. Um, but, but we're really talking about the sugars and the excessive starches with like a, a lot of potatoes, a lot of rice, a lot of pasta, breads, and hidden sugars in just about everything. So, you know, it, it's better for those people to avoid those type of carbohydrates in order for them to kind of repair their metabolism, um, get their insulin level under control, and allow them to lose body fat naturally without the constant up and down of their blood sugar and out of control um, insulin. So, um, you know, now that the effectiveness of low carb diets are amazing for those type of people. If, if you're constantly stuck in a rut um, with losing weight, then this is definitely a good source to turn to. Now, it's not going to be a good fit for everybody. I mean, some people need a little bit of carbohydrates in their diets. But if you haven't tried it, give it a shot and try it out for, you know, a good six weeks, you know, even, even just a month. See if you notice a difference, right? So, like, <coughs> the biggest thing I can, can say is that, you know, if you have never tried it, just do it. Like do a little experiment and, and try to taper all the carbs out of your diet and then go completely carb free for a while and see how it works. Like this is this is the big problem with people who like they try stuff and then it either works or doesn't work. And if it works, then they become a complete religious zealot over the stuff. And if it doesn't work, then they come completely abolish the whole idea for everyone and that's just not true there's certain time periods where you're going to need to do this so like in if you're very overweight you've had insulin problems before you just can't seem to lose weight you're constantly hungry all the time you know this would be a good case to have a little bit of lower carbohydrates within your diet and can kind of control that that intake Versus if you're a very active individual and, you know, you, you're you just, you're, you're struggling to figure out, well, what is the right path? Well, in those cases, that may not be the right suit for you. So it's all about figuring out where you are at the time period and where you want to go with it. And 
just give it a shot. So that's that's the end state on that one. Um, hopefully you like the blog. It's a little bit more sciencey than my little dialogue. Um, if you like if you like the article I wrote, please give it a thumbs up. If you think there's somebody else that might need to hear this, then share it and pass it along. Thanks so much.